So the right elbow is absolutely pivotal for a great golf swing. It's something we see all the best ball strikers and players in the world have in their golf swing. So if we do not have the right elbow moving correctly, we are going to have a dreadful golf swing, extremely inconsistent. So let's get into in this video why that right elbow is so unbelievably important. Understand that is huge and exactly how to get the right elbow into a good spot with a great drill. So what is it with the right elbow? And it is staying down in the backswing and staying down in the downswing. Incredibly important, like we're seeing the best players in the world do. And why it's so crucial, because it gets real big key elements into your golf swing with just that one movement. Why? That right arm is the decider between a good swing and a bad swing. So number one, it really helps with shallowing the golf club. When that right elbow starts to go more down towards the ground, it starts to shallow that shaft. And you need to shallow the shaft to rotate and present a good club path to the golf ball. So for a lot of you golfers who have a little bit of a steep shaft in that downswing, that's your elbow pointing behind you. And then when you try to rotate from there, that club is going to massively chop across the golf ball. It's going to be absolutely nasty. Just look at these two ones here. Right elbow pointing down towards the ground. Nicely shallow and moving through. Now elbow pointing behind. It's going to be not good. That felt horrendous. Club was way out in front. Tried to still turn. Not that great. So okay. Second reason why the right elbow is so pivotal. Because when it comes in, so just imagine, again, what's Ben Hogan always used to say? Elbow in and driving forward, getting closer to that left arm. What does that do? That gets that trail arm in front of the body. So when that trail arm and arms are moving in front of the body, that incentivizes the body to be in control over the arm. So then good body rotation again can get you going through the golf ball nicely and control that club. Just what we hear the tour players say. They're always trying to get those arms in front in a downswing. So I think that's simple, but elbow pointing down does that for you. Because again, if your elbow is pointing behind, that will then actually get yourself stuck. So this is actually why so many golfers get stuck in the downswing. It has quite often nothing to do with how they move their hips, which we're actually gonna talk about that a little bit in a minute as well, because that actually comes in. Your hip movement and your elbow movement tie into each other. Because if your elbow goes behind, it makes it look like you're spinning out your hips. Well, you're actually not. It is just your elbow pointing more behind, going into internal shoulder rotation rather than external. And that arm gets behind seam line and you're going to struggle to get the club going through the golf ball again. Watch how the arms get nicely in front with elbow down. Nice. Now let's hit one more. Elbow behind. You're going to watch my arms get stuck. Again. Not great at all. The only difference there was how the elbow moved. All the other little differences you may have seen is all a reaction to it. So and the third reason why that elbow pointing down is so unbelievably crucial. So again, it's going to help you rotate through the golf ball. So like we said, it gets the right arm in front and then from there, your body can just turn through. Where again, if that elbow is stuck behind, you can't just turn through because the club's gonna be too much on the inside of the ball line. So you've either got to throw the arms pie the pelvis forward to get the club onto the golf ball. So many different things can happen. So elbow down, good rotation. And then when we get that elbow behind, we're gonna have to stall and flip. So it's gonna help with so many areas just with that one move. And again, you're gonna be amazed at how our loads of other little bits start to get into your golf swing. So let's talk about how to get this with things we need to do in our golf swing and then a great drill and also fields for the golf course that are gonna help you with it. So how do we get that elbow pointing down and moving in front? It actually is very reliant on your setup and your backswing. Cause like we said at the beginning of the video, backswing and downswing, and we've pretty much just talked about downswing. So this is where the importance of backswing comes into it. So number one, setup. This is literally vast majority of everyone who really struggles with that trail arm movement does this really wrong. So what we wanna do, if I pull my shirt or my sleeve of my shirt all the way up there to where you can see the inside of my elbow, we want that inside of the elbow pointing in front and slightly to our left. That gets us in a more externally rotated shoulder position. Nice and relaxed. So now that's going to really help us 
have that elbow stay down. Because what so many golfers do, they'll have that inside of the elbow point pretty much almost down their target line. I see this so often with lessons online on Skillist. Really having them pointing down there, so just to the right of target, and then as soon as they move back, their elbow starts to get behind, which is not what we want to do. That's what we want to avoid. That's the bad golf swing error. I mean, it is really hard to play good golf from doing that. There's maybe a couple golfers that can do it. Really difficult. So elbow, underside of the elbow, pointing forward, grip it there. There we go, nice. So now, second part, backswing. How do we move it in the backswing? So that is where we've got to imagine like we're doing something else. So as we're turning back, Imagine you're doing half a bicep curl in the gym. So a full bicep curl is where the forearm goes to your bicep. Half a bicep curl is where you get to 90 degrees. If we do that whilst having a slight lift of the arm as well, we've now got perfect right arm movement in the backswing. So we rotate the body, half bicep curl, have a little arm lift, and that's how then you can keep that elbow pointing down towards the ground. What most players do, they start a lawnmower in their backswing. So let's say if they're in a bad setup, they'll absolutely be starting the lawnmower of their arm, pulling it straight back. Or let's say they're in a good position and they pull it back, they're gonna struggle to get that arm back in front of them because then they're in internal shoulder rotation. Really hard to then go into external from there. So half a bicep curl up to the top, nice. We're in that good spot, awesome. What's the next bit? Downswing, so to start that downswing, it's two bits. One, you've got to give yourself room to do it. That's with your hips. Like we said, the hips come into this. And there's a little feel, again, Ben Hogan-like feel to really help as well here. So getting up to the top, good, we're in a good spot. Now, to give yourself room, we want to keep this right hip back and get the left hip going back. So you can see that gets the body moving into forward flexion, which massively helps with that elbow pointing down. So this is where when players get their right hip moving forward, which ruins their space, See how the elbow then goes behind me immediately. So it gets stuck behind my body and goes into more internal rotation. Even if I'm in a good spot at the top, right side moving forward, now I'm in a bad spot. Right side moving forward, bad spot. So you can see, look at the shaft. See how it's deepening immediately. Not good. So that's where for us, we have got to move the hips properly. So I've got so many videos on my channel about how to rotate and clear the hips correctly. We don't want to do it by spinning the right side. It might Seem like common sense to do it like that for a right-handed golfer to rotate the hips from the right side. But as we know, golf isn't very common sense when it comes to technique. So we want to keep that right side back and left side move backwards. Like I said, I've got loads of videos on my channel about this. So the second little feel for this downswing portion is getting that elbow, right elbow, feeling like it's getting as close as we can to the left. That's gonna keep it pointing down, of course. But you can see that squeezing motion. Look at the club shaft as I do so. See how it's nicely shallowing out. Then that right arm's in front, then all we've got to do, boom. Turn through, now let's get to a drill. So here's our drill, ball training aid. So what I want you to do, put a ball training aid. I've just got one here that goes around your neck as well. So any ball training aid will do. Put it in between your arms. Now simply, all you want to do is keep this in between your arms for the entirety of the swing. That's going to keep the elbow down because when that elbow down, is down there, you can see at how the space between my arms is quite small. Whenever that elbow points behind, the space gets wider and there we go, it drops. So that's where this is a very simplistic way of working on it. It's good to understand the technical side of it, which we've done for this entire video, but then having a simple practical way that's feedback orientated to target it is the goal. That's what I would always do for my own golf swing. Understand it in the technicality and the depths of it, but then apply something simple. If then, let's say we understand the depths of it and then get into a very technical, complicated way of working on it, I don't feel like that's a good route to go. So, okay, just keep this in the arms. Backswing, that gets you into that elbow down, then elbow down in front, in the downswing, ball is still in my arms. If you wanna have any extra feel for the downswing, squeeze the ball, give it a good squeeze. So that will, of course, get that elbow driving in. So let's go, let's do one here. Brilliant. So then I would just rep that out and this ball training aid is so good for so many other things. It's just a case of repping as much as possible. Okay, so feels for the golf course to get this into your golf swing. So the obvious thing here, how do we get this into our golf swing long-term is via drills and getting it in the good sense in practice, ripping it out as much as we can. That's how we get it into the subconscious 
and perform with it on the golf course. But having a feel here and there is very good to encourage the right movement to happen. So the priorities we could almost say for the golf course, number one, make sure that setup's good. Get that elbow pointing a little bit more in front. So if we don't do that, ugh, everything's gonna be really tough. So that's one real piece of low hanging fruit there that we can go and grab because that's gonna help us a ton for how we're moving with that right arm. But we don't wanna think of all of these points out on the golf course. So I wouldn't even think of the half bicep curl on the golf course unless we really struggle with the backswing portion because it would just be too clouded because we know where's the main benefit, downswing. So that's where we're gonna most likely nail it if we get the good setup from the golf course. So then downswing, two things here. Time, give yourself time. So transition, that start of it, we want it to really feel like we're moving in slow motion. Why are we saying that? Because that takes care of the hips. That makes the hips sink back a little bit more. And then all we want to feel, get that right arm squeezing into the left. So good setup, patient at the top, slow motion, right arm squeezing. That'll help you with your rhythm and timing things up on the golf course as well. So let's do that here. Good. So that's if we can get that feel, those feels and that set up on the golf course, we're gonna be moving the needle, absolutely. But what's gonna be the main driver? Practice, get the practice in. Absolutely, it takes a long time to get it in there, guys. It really does. Even like, let's say six months, that should be a good view for you to get this move into golf swing if you are having a poor right arm movement at the moment. Again, if your right arm, your right elbow isn't bad and it's moving good, don't worry about the video. You know, it's not the right thing for you to work on if you've got right, good right arm movement. It'll be just clouding your judgment on what you need to do. So only if you need to work on that right arm, but now you understand on exactly why that right elbow is so pivotal, you need it to play good golf. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button. If you want more golf instruction, just like this, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too, to be notified every time I put out a video.